Welcome back to Bakery Simulator. We're really close to unlocking the ultimate workshop, right? Which I'm really excited about. If you look here, we're, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. It says that that's my next level. So I probably just have to level once or something and then we'll get to go and visit that location. That would be great. I feel pretty confident in my baking skills right now. We've come very far. Oh my God, 1000 reward for that one. Lots of XP, 72 grandpa muffins. Let's go. I actually just upgraded a few things for the the like muffin making as well which will make it a little bit easier for us so that's great okay just the question is is how we're gonna make them because I'm terrible with these eggs as you probably already know all right so we need to order a couple more eggs actually so let's do that actually should oh it's not instant not with these anyway i have some things that come instantly and some things that don't so i guess it just depends i don't even have any more big ones so i'm just gonna go with small ones i don't know if this is a good idea but that's how i'm gonna do it <laughs> so yeah we'll just try because i gotta wait with these things i don't think i can do instant delivery i suppose shall we i don't know i actually think i've messed up I don't think it's possible to do it with this amount. Yeah, I think I messed up. So I'm just going to dump these off and then we're just going to start again because I think with, because uh, I like kind of use those because I didn't have enough, but we're just going to do instant delivery instead. I think that would be for the best. All right, let's go with, let's go with these. Let's just keep going with the, the big eggs for now. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh, so many eggs. So many eggs and not enough time, <laughs> right? 360, yeah, you needed big eggs the whole way. Okay, well, I, I learned my lesson, I suppose. <laughs> so there is that. Okay, so 144. Oh, that was a bit much. That was 145 by accident. Oopsie, it's fine though. We need a lot of milk. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough of this actually. Let's see, we'll find out. All right, yep, not enough milk. I kind of figured that would be the case let's buy a bit more all right is that instant no it's not sadly i think we haven't got instant liquids yet but i'm sure we will get some like instant liquids soon because you can get them instantly i think all right we need quite a lot of sugar here but i think we'll be okay some spelt flour all right, here we go. We need quite a lot of this stuff too. Wow, uh, let's see, let's just go for, oh, one went one over by accident, oopsie. All right, the milk. We're just gonna do instant delivery with this because I'm not hanging around. I got stuff to do, man. We got lots of stuff to do. Wait, how did it get to, how did it get to that? I don't know how that happened. We just need to take a tiny bit out. All right, there you go. And then we just need to put 100 in, all right. There you go. Everything is fantastic and everything is prepared and good. We're going to make 72 muffins, man. That's a lot of muffins. We're going to go for 40 seconds because I think that's going to take a while. I can boost it as well so I can make it a bit faster if I want to. But it's not really a big deal because I'm going to be over here making my muffin little cupcake things. So I got something to keep me busy whilst that is like going. So I don't really need to boost it. I'm not that impatient. <laughs> I got things to do, you know, so it's fine. All right, here we go. Let's put these up. But if I finish in time, then maybe I'll do something with it, perhaps. All right, there you go. There's that done. All right, that's all done. Okay, stop, stop, stop. We're good, we're good, we're fine. Let's put a spice in. The spices haven't really been doing a whole lot for me, to be honest. Go with vanilla this time. Grandpa's vanilla muffins. Delicious. All right, now to fill up the, the thing. That would be great. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong with the spice, but I haven't really seen anything happening with it. So like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm just like messing up somehow. It could be. It could be what, what's happening, but I'm not too sure. All right, there you go. Is that all of them? Oh, I just missed one right there. Okay, we're good. Let's go and put these in the oven, ready and raring to go. All right, there you go. Oh, come on. Sometimes it's a bit awkward with like clicking on stuff. It doesn't respond. Sometimes it's really annoying. Maybe I'm just too quick. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just too quick for the game to keep up possibly i'm not sure all right here we go let's go with some more here once we're done this we're gonna go and check on the oven it's usually 
just the perfect amount of time for it to cook usually so we'll see i only got four minutes left actually let's see how we're looking how are we doing okay we're on 70 percent nearly there i might as well just wait for this this last bit to finish up that'd be great but 72 muffins is a whole ton of muffins oh, i hate it when it does that oh please come on i just want the whole tray <laughs> it's so frustrating when it does that i'm still using the oven and i should be using the the rack but i just find it easier to use this if i'm being honest with you it does like burn them slightly but it really doesn't affect your score so i feel like the rack oven is just like really like you don't need it it's really not needed it's fine oh come on put these things in there's one more up there all right let's see i wonder if this is enough i think this could be enough you know all right let's see maybe one more batch i'm not too sure all right where's the tray here's the tray i've got three minutes left time is getting on now it really is this is a, a lot that it's asking for all right, let's dump this in. All right, there you go. I'm not sure if this is enough though because I think I still had one more to do. Wait, these cost money? Oh no, I can't even buy any more. Oh no, I didn't realize. Was there more in there? Wait, actually it might be empty. That might have just been the right amount. I might get lucky. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know. Oh no, I honestly didn't realize that I was that low on my funds. I have been buying upgrades recently. I just didn't know. <laughs> We're just gonna have to go with however many comes out of this batch because I don't think there's much I can do here. Let's just hope this fills it up to 72. Come on, we're so close. Come on. Yes. Oh, good. I was worried. Like, I thought oh, I was so lucky there, wasn't I? Very lucky. Okay, let's go. Let's go deliver this ASAP. <laughs> oh my god. It always makes me feel really nervous. You know, so I always feel like I don't have enough, but we're okay. We really need to make some money from this. We're going to make a lot, I think, from this batch. So that's good. That's very good. All right, we got a few minutes to get down there. Easy peasy, we got this. Two minutes to get down there, that's gonna be fine. I don't think we're gonna have any problems with that. We're gonna make tons of money and I'm gonna use it to buy the last couple of upgrades. Hopefully we'll get the workshop. I don't know if we'll get a full level for this or not though. This was a lot of muffins, so it's very possible that it might be enough, but <laughs> I guess we'll have to see. The rush, the mad rush for this game is great i i kind of i love it when games are like chaotic and time management games can be really hard sometimes and this is definitely kind of tricky it can be tricky it can be so i'm actually glad that it is all right deliver there you go a thousand for that very nice do i get a level <gasps> do i get the ultimate workshop how much does it cost that's the question it might cost a lot the first workshop was a thousand so in theory wouldn't you think it would be double maybe i don't know What's happening? Oh, don't tell me it's crashed. No, we're fine. <laughs> yep, we crashed again. Oh man, my game crashed. Uh, not again. It always does this. And we're back, thank God. All right, let's go check out this new workshop, the ultimate workshop. Let's see, upgrades to tier three available. It costs 5,000. Whoa, that's a lot. That's a lot of smackaroonies. All right, we're, we're not quite ready to do this then, <laughs> I guess. Unless I took a loan. But yeah, that's not happening. I don't like taking loans, so, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to keep going with the, the biggest orders. 78 surprise muffins. Let's do this. Let's go. We need the money. We need the money more than ever. I wish I saved a bit of money now, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> but never mind. All right, let's get some wheat flour going. Oh, maybe let's, um, let's do the eggs first, actually. Always the eggs first, right? Let's make sure we do that. We're going to need to buy some more, actually, as well, I think. All right, how many we got in here now? 120, okay. Let's go for a small as well. Not sure how many to go for. Maybe just... I think we might need two. Let's go for two smalls. I really messed that egg up, didn't I? Yes, I did. <laughs> 210? I don't know if this is good or not, but... Oh, I've run out of eggs, haven't I? Yes. Um, let's buy some more eggs. All right, here we go. Eggs incoming. All right, instant delivery. Okay, let's do this. Let's see how this works out, actually. How, how are we doing? 3.30, yes, one more big egg, and we're done, and we're there. Yay, good stuff, 
Hey! <laughs> awesome! Okay, so now we need 156 yeast. Perfect. So we need some olive oil. So let's do that. 390 of this stuff. Yay! And some milk. Let's get some milk. That would be great. Let's see. Five. Oh, that was a bit too much, actually. <laughs> Oops. 500. Need a bit more of that. 780. All right, perfect. I'm being a little bit like, I guess a little bit risky, I guess you could say <laughs> right now. Okay, we need some more, it was, what was it, wheat flour? Yeah, wheat flour. We need some more of this stuff, I think. Yeah, is that wrong? Oh, it was right. I don't know what, I don't know what I was thinking right there, but it's fine. Okay, we got 195. I uh, just need 50. Oh, did I press the wrong one? I mean, meant 50. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but it's fine. Okay, now we need 156. So let's make sure that we get the right amount. Good stuff. Now we just need a little bit of raisin and we should be good. Where's the raisin at? Oh, they're up here. Nice. That's a lot of raisins, but it's going to be very much worth it, I would say. So there we go. Perfect. Let's set this up. It's going to take a while, I think. So I'm just going to set it up for like, I don't know. We'll just do 30 for now. I'm just going to leave it going. And then we're going to get all our muffins out. We've really been making a lot of muffins recently, haven't we? But it just so happens that that just seems to be the thing that just like is making me the most money. So that's basically why I just keep going for the muffins at the moment. So yeah, they're a bit of a pain in the butt to, to do. I'm not the biggest fan of like making muffins, if I'm being honest. All right, now we'll boost this, I think. Let's boost this a bit, make it a bit faster. All right, there you go. Stop, and then we can set this up. That would be great. We've still got seven minutes, so we're making good time at the moment anyway. Who knows if that will last? I think usually with this one, it's like there's a lot of like cooking and like prep work, but once you actually go for the driving, the driving's very, very like small. You don't have to really drive that much. So I think we'll be okay there, so that's good. All right, let's get these on. We're gonna get these cooking. I'm gonna make sure to put it in the right oven this time, so I always forget, don't I? <laughs> so let's make sure to, to do that. Um, I might actually just put them all at, on, on at the same time. I actually think that might be the better idea actually so I don't think it's going to take that long to cook them in that oven so that's what I'm going to try regardless and maybe we can get the perfect mixture going on here not mixture perfect muffins even <laughs> that would be great oh just keep picking them up by accident no stop that stop it <laughs> oh my gosh all right let's do the mixture here as well 78 is quite a lot of muffins i have to say but that's okay i'm sure we'll do a fantastic job here all right there's a couple more in there all right is there more there is there's more in there to do as well oh boy okay let's make sure to put these on as well we got two whole trays ready of muffins here look at this fantastic i think we can fit more trays in there so we're good we're good to just do them all at the same time i'm pretty sure it will be fine all right we're gonna have to wait for like the last batch even if we did them separately anyway so i don't think it's really gonna be a big deal i don't know if we need another three lots of these i didn't really look i'm just gonna do two and then oh please <laughs> and then just see how this goes all right how much no i don't think we're gonna need we're not gonna need all of those that's it yep that's it okay let's go put this on a tray and we're good to start the the cooking process okay we're gonna put this in here perfect and what do they need to be on 80 and 30 actually says the time as well 30 to 50 seconds let's go for 30 then and leave it at that i didn't actually realize it told you the time on it i actually kind of just just like did it on my own like did it just kind of just guessed basically we still got like a whole five minutes left as well so that's good hopefully this will be all the muffins that we need i'm pretty sure i did the right mixture so we should be fine but i don't really know all right here we go it's looking delicious right i can smell it from here <laughs> it's looking great it's a surprise muffin what do you think's inside 
Lots of yumminess, I'm sure. Oh, these look really good. These look amazing. I like the look of these, actually. They look awesome. All right, let's chuck them all in. There we go. All the muffins are going inside. Perfect. Let's get the next batch here as well. So satisfying, isn't it? It's just so satisfying. This game's really addicting. <laughs> I have to say, I really like it. It's very, very addicting. I can get lost in this game for hours. So, yeah, it's great. All right. Oh, where's the next tray? I just misclicked a little bit there. All right, there you go. Oh, I made one extra. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but okay. <laughs> Very strange. Doesn't really matter though, I suppose. All right, let's go. Let's go deliver. Yeah, usually these are pretty like close. This is actually further than I was expecting, but we got a whole four minutes. So, so there's no way that we're not going to make it over there in that time. So I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Isn't it like cool to think that I can deliver like 72 muffins in like... I think it was like 10 minutes or something <laughs> really wasn't that long like I think that's pretty good actually so I'm proud of how far I've come I've definitely improved with my baking skills <laughs> so that's good progression is real with this game I feel like the progression has been really fun for sure I feel like it's definitely starting to die down now though so like we're definitely like getting to like sort of the end mark for sure had a little bit of a spike there actually so that's a bit annoying but we should be okay all right we've nearly made it let's go deliver our delicious muffins everybody is gonna be happy they're gonna have a party of these 72 muffins can you imagine eating 72 muffins in one sitting could you do you think you could do that i think i would struggle i think it would be hard i reckon i could eat maybe 15 maybe 20 pushing it maybe i think any more than that and i'd have a very hard time i feel like <laughs> but Maybe I'm overesting. Maybe I'm overestimating myself here. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. All right, here we go. We did it. 100% score. <gasps> Look at all this. Sunny loaf, sunny bread, corn bread, square buns, magma buns, industrial mixers. Ooh, and corn flour. Some new things. Very nice. I wouldn't say no. That's awesome. Let's check it out in our like progression thing when we get back, hopefully, if we don't crash. <laughs> but we're good, we're good. We're fine. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, this is the next level rewards. I don't think I've got these just yet. So that's a little bit sad. All right, I'm just going to keep going because we're working on getting the ultimate like um workshop what are we doing muffins again why is it always muffins that give the most money i'm gonna do another batch of muffins but i'm just gonna do it on my own because we've done two batches of mu muffins this episode and i won't bore you with more because it's just gonna be so much i'm just doing it for money so when i come back maybe we'll have enough money for the ultimate workshop that would be cool actually we'll see we'll see how it goes okay now with that order out of the way i just did another 70 odd muffins our next Next one to do is 10 folksy loaves. It's been a while since we did loaves, so I figured this would be a nice one to do. We don't have the dreaded eggs to do this time either, thank god. <laughs> so many, so many like eggs that you have to do with uh, those orders. Man, of course that's not going to be enough water, that's a lot. I need to order some more eggs as well actually. And uh, I think we need some more flour and sugar. And what was it? I needed water. So let's order all of those. I need to wait a little bit for some of them, sadly, but that's okay. All right, let's get the flour here. So this is gonna be 3.2. Oh, I need a bit more rye flour as well. Oopsie. Okay, let's order some more of that. That could be instant. Yeah, that's instant. So we don't need to worry about that. Okay, sourdough. Let's buy some sourdough. 1.5. Perfect. Wheat flour. Let's buy some of those. Oops, I didn't mean to do that actually. Oh, we need a bit more wheat flour as well. Man, this is costing me a lot of stuff here, but <laughs> it's okay. All right, there you go. Some lovely wheat flour and sugar 200. Just go for a little bit. Yeah, we just need a tiny bit then. 1.6. Is the water back yet? No, the water's not here. That's fine. We got the sunflower seeds. 400 of these. Some salt. How much salt do we need? 120. Not bad. Is that everything? We're just waiting on water. So I'm just going to instant delivery that one. Uh, that would be good. So we need... We still need a lot. 1.2. Okay, a little bit less than that. All right, there you go. That's perfect. Let's just set this up. That would be great. Let's just go for 
it says 10 to 25 let's go for 25 seconds then if that's the case and we of course need some like little loafer things out here it's gonna be pretty easy to set those up so we don't need to worry too much about that i think this is gonna be a pretty easy order to do actually just going to speed that up okay turn it off we're good we're good turn off okay awesome good stuff all right have you missed the traditional handmade bread is crispy spicy if it's spicy what would go with spice orange maybe do you think orange peel would go with spice maybe i don't know ginger looks like it would really go well with this i'm gonna go for ginger because i reckon this would be super delicious but i don't know okay so we're gonna fill these up it's gonna be really satisfying as well very satisfying indeed 200 so it would actually be best to put these in the old oven i would say i mean i guess i could put it in the, the rack if i really wanted to i actually just realized you can move the rack out so i actually moved the rack out because it was easier when i was doing muffins and i didn't know you could do that so <laughs> took me a while to figure that one out actually but that's okay uh where is the the other one like you can literally just grab it and then just like move it and then you can just like put it back in here like i think somehow oh god what am i doing it's probably really easy to like move around and um use for certain things oh god it's actually a bit of a pain to get it back in i didn't realize that i thought it would be I thought it would be a lot easier to get back in, but now I'm not so sure. <laughs> oh no. Why do they make it such a pain to get in and out? Oh my gosh. Well, we're not using the rack oven anymore. <laughs> Hell to that. <laughs> Spending too much time doing that is not it's not worth the time. All right. Anyway, let's put these in. We're going to have to, there won't be any more room, so we're going to have to cook those up at the moment, but that's all right. I think we're just going to have room for like one more i think there's probably going to be like one more let's get three of those out this costs money as well so i kind of have to be aware of how much i'm doing here is that done nope i guess there's gonna be two lots of these going in then but that's all right okay what are we looking at we're about halfway okay that's fine let's go set this up we probably have time to set this up as well before it starts to burn so we should be fine let's just put three of these out and put these oh that was it just one <laughs> guess there was just one left over fair enough all right these are nearly done and on 85 percent we'll just wait for this to finish up i think that would be a good idea all right so here we go perfect cooked to perfection my friends all right there you go six in there not bad let's just put this straight on i'm just gonna put this one out actually and there was one right here this poor little lonely loaf going on its own <laughs> but it's fine all right there you go and now we just have to wait for these to cook as well so it's four in there yeah that would be fine okay we just have to wait for these we got plenty of time for the delivery as well so we're gonna be a okay this unfortunately it doesn't give that much money it only gives like 500 so we still got a little ways until we're gonna be able to get the ultimate workshop sadly but it's coming it's coming soon we're gonna get it in no time i assure you so that's gonna be great we just gotta wait a little bit longer for our oven i really should upgrade this i don't think you can upgrade it though i wish you could let's try this i don't know if it really does a lot but just trying it anyway <laughs> why not it doesn't really hurt so let's just try it out all right there you go let's put these in beautiful beautiful delivery beautiful bread everything is great in our establishment we got a fine establishment going here i also just realized there's a call for delivery option now that wasn't here before and i didn't do anything I guess it just unlocks if you've done like a certain amount of deliveries or something it costs money and there is a, a a risk of failure unless you tip them so if you tip tip them there's no risk so i'm just gonna spend 89 dollars. it's gonna save me some time and i want to try it out reports from the delivery company are ready let's see delivery company reports they delivered it nice good and i got 600 so you get less money if you do that but you like save a bit of time i suppose i don't know if it's really worth it when you're like actually wanting money i don't know i still made a profit but i'm not too sure about that honestly i don't know all right let's see what i'm doing today then let's have a look 
we're just I'm just gonna be probably doing these loafs actually yeah I'm probably just gonna do these loafs these foxy loafs get a bit more money so I'm doing loafs again so I'm just gonna move ahead a little bit okay I finally have enough to buy the ultimates workshop I also figured out that you could actually take on multiple orders at once so I just did the whole to uh, the whole lot I had like 20 minutes to do like four orders it was pretty crazy actually but I enjoyed doing it so <laughs> that was fun um anyway I'm going to buy the ultimate workshop I don't know when it's going to unlock it might not unlock until the next day I'm not quite sure actually let me see there's so many orders here my god that's a lot of orders I might have enough money to purchase some other things though if we're moving though we might take the we might take the actual stuff with us I'm not entirely sure how that's gonna work I don't know we're just gonna do one order just one small order I think because I just want to see what happens with the ultimate workshop and we might have to do one thing before we're able to, to do that so let's do one thing quick we don't need we don't need any eggs this time so we should be fine with that as well okay so oh we need some more corn flour I've been using a lot of supplies recently so <laughs> makes sense okay so oh I need even more of it wow this stuff takes a lot of corn flour right <laughs> luckily I got instant delivery on these orders so I don't need to worry about waiting or anything so that's great I've also been using the delivery thing quite a lot with the last couple of orders that I did because you can actually like say if you're like say if you've got like one minute left you can actually just get the courier to do it and they'll just do it instantly so like you don't have to like worry about like not getting there in time because like if you travel there you probably won't make it but if you send a courier they'll make it so it's actually really handy for like that kind of stuff as well so yeah it's perfect for that I've actually been using it a lot for mostly for that reason when I just don't have time to like do it myself so it's it's absolutely fantastic in that way okay so we want to do this for at least 30 seconds so let's do that this is a forming one so we're just going to speed it up because there's nothing we can do to like prepare this so we're actually going to have to wait for it eight cornbreads is quite a bit but i'm sure we'll be able to do this actually it's fine it's not going to be too bad i reckon and then i'm going to put it probably put it in the in the like cooker the one that you can set the time for i really love the cooker that you can set the time for because you could just set it up and then go away like when i was doing multiple orders i literally just set it up and then i just did all, like went away and then just did like the next order so it's great for that really good for that so this is a form one so we do need to do long breads i'm pretty sure this is how you do this one but hopefully i'm right <laughs> we'll have to see how it goes right but we only need eight of them so we're not going to be chopping for too long so that's um that's going to be okay all right here we go nice little thing in there awesome we're going to we're going to go up in the world very soon i can't believe we're so close to getting the ultimate workshop it's amazing i'm really very much looking forward to it actually it's going to be a good i can't wait to see what it looks like and like what new machines are in there because i'm assuming that there's going to be some new machines in there also so that's going to be great okay let's get this muffin in there as well very nice Alrighty, we're on a roll guys. We're doing fantastic. Okay, we've still got seven minutes to go. So we've got plenty of time, I would say. I think there's just one more after this one. I think there's only one more bread. So pretty sure we're close now. Oh, <laughs> took a little bit more than I was expecting actually, but that's okay. All right, let's do this. Let's get that last little roll on the other side. Okay, oh, the one that we've got on the table. I guess there was one extra one, but that's okay. We'll get there in no time for sure. All oh, right, there we go. So now we just kind of set this up on our tray. Of course, there's three left over. So of course, I'm going to have to come back for those, but that's okay. This is going to be a super easy, easy peasy. All right, let's get these on. We've got our lovely cornbread. Here we go. We're, we're making a lot of money here right now too. So this has to be set for 220. So just set it a bit higher and then set it for 40 seconds. And then we just have to wait for it to finish and we're basically done. So easy peasy. 
and we don't even have to deliver it because I'm just going to send uh, somebody to do it for us so, so it's going to be a very easy one here but yeah it's going to be great I'm looking forward to to upgrading all the things maybe we'll be able to unlock all the like different customization for the walls and the flooring and that kind of stuff because I don't seem to have very many options here so like that's kind of annoying we could read the description it has a soft texture and a rich taste Ooh, and it goes with anything it's so popular it goes with anything hams cheese jams vegetables whatever you want but be careful while baking it is it easy to burn do you think well here it is it looks fantastic actually so that's good let's put this all in fantastic good stuff and as easy as that very very easy indeed so now we just if i could put it on the table that'd be great <laughs> and then just to send this out and so basically done i'm just gonna call for delivery there you go all done and we got 400 money for that as well and there's a few things unlocked a wise muffin what makes it so wise oh my god there's brownies can we make brownies i want to make brownies man that'll be awesome I really want a new recipe. It's been ages since we had a new recipe. So this is it. The ultimate, the ultimate workshop. This is the ultimate workshop, guys. Oh my gosh. It looks big. It looks amazing. It looks awesome. I'm ready to get stuck in, actually. It's gonna be great. So it looks like we do take all the machines that we previously had with us. So that's awesome. Oh, that's just a map. I was wondering what that was. Okay, I wonder, if, is there any like new machines or like anything? Like, surely there's a like something good here. Like, I paid 5,000 to come here. Like, I'm hoping that there's like a new machine or just like something for us to, to work with. What are these? Coconut? Rye? Okay, this is exactly the same machine though. It just looks like more impressive, I guess. I think there's an upgrade for this. There is an upgrade for this so you can increase the capacity. I haven't done any of those. What's this? What's this? Is this a mixer? Oh, this is just, you get an extra mixer, I think. I think there's two of them, isn't there? I think this is a mixer too, isn't it? Yeah, there's two mixers now and there was only one before. And this is just a, just a thing to help you out, I think. So really, there's <laughs> not really that much different <laughs> compared to this one and the other one. I do feel a bit sad. Why have I got this one unlocked and not the other ones? That doesn't make sense, but okay. But yeah, I'm a bit like, I guess I am a bit disappointed because I thought there would be like new machines or like something new to create, but there doesn't seem to be, right? So I don't, I don't know. I really want to make these brownies, man. I've never made brownies before and that would be so fun. Um, I'm also, I don't know if I want, I don't want to make 99 chocolate muffins. I don't, I really don't want to make any more muffins. I really don't. Let's make the square buns. We'll make those as well. We'll make both of these. That will be fine. Okay. How do you make brownies? This is going to be interesting, actually. I like brownies. The brownies are delicious. So, so good. I have to find my way around this kitchen. So I don't know how this works. Whoa. Is this my new bowl? It looks so different. <laughs> it looks really different. Is this a mixer bowl? It just, oh wow, so fancy. <laughs> it's got like wheels on the bottom. That's kind of cool. I kind of like, I kind of want to see. Yeah, this is a mixer. That's cool. I didn't know that you could get ones like that, though very hard to see. Extremely hard. You can't get that close um, anymore. So that's crazy. Uh, wait, what if I just put like five grams in? Oh, I thought it would like automatically like do it for me, but it doesn't. <laughs> Sadly, that's okay. Man, you really make a mess in these things, don't you? 960 eggs? That's a lot of eggs, man. Okay, I guess I better start cracking some eggs, I suppose. Let's hope that I got enough here, because I don't really know, to be fair. I'm just going to go with, like, big eggs all the way, so I feel like that might be the way to, to go forward with this one. But we will see. All right, let's see what we got here. 420. Oh, I broke that one. Dull. <laughs> I need to order some more eggs. So let's make sure to, to do that. Let's just do instant delivery. Perfect. Okay, let's keep going. I've already got 1,000, and I just spent 5,000 to get here. It's kind of crazy that I've managed to get that much money already it just goes to show we're definitely improving here so that is great that is very very cool indeed I hope I'm doing this right but I don't know we'll just have to see 
like how this all turns out. Oh boy, I'm getting a bit nervous. We're getting close. 960, yes, I was right. Okay, so we just need to buy one more batch of eggs. Just gonna do another one of those. That's so many eggs. My god. All right, there you go. 960 eggs. Now we need wheat flour. I can't barely even see. This thing is really clunky and really massive. I don't really like it that much, to be honest. Wheat flour. Let's buy some of those. Uh, we don't want one that much. We just want 1.2 milk. It's like really, it keeps moving around as well. <laughs> it's like going crazy. It's like like vibrating or something. I don't know. Um, Some cocoa. We need 240 of that. But yeah, this thing is kind of distracting. How much is in there? 260? How did that happen? I don't know. How much is in there now? 210? Okay, let's just go up a little bit. It's hard to see it like this. I don't I don't like this thing. It moves around too much. <laughs> it's too much of a pain. But I'm just going to put up with it for now. All right, how much is that? 700. Just one more lot. Um, we need 800 sugar. So five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Dark chocolate. Oh la la. Where's the dark chocolate at? Let's put some of that in. There it is. Very nice. So that should be a K and then that should be two. That should be everything, right? 240, 1.2. Yeah, we're good. So how do I clip this back in? Oh, it's so fancy, isn't it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like I've, I'm like, I've got like a very rich looking establishment here. So it's going to go on for 20 seconds, right? Yeah, 20 seconds. Perfect. I know. I know. Let's turn that on. And there it goes. Look at that. That looks awesome. <laughs> I'm really impressed with like how it looks. But yeah, just a bit disappointed that there's not like any more like things but maybe we just need to level up a bit more or something i don't know i have honestly got no idea when you do this what do i do do i just shove it in the oven does it need to be formed like i actually don't know would i put it in the same thing as the loaves you would think so right i think i might have to put it in with the loaves maybe oh wait just put that back a sec oh it's staying there this time i guess you have to let it go near the thing for it to do that but i would assume the brownies would go in these like little things here so let's try and do that it doesn't say you have to form it so it's definitely not not that all right let's see uh i want this please can i pick this up what's happening to this thing i don't know all right are you <laughs> it's going crazy <laughs> the thing is going crazy right now but yeah hopefully this is correct all right, I'm just gonna leave that there for now. All right, we're gonna put it in the oven. We're gonna try this out. All right, brownies, lovely, lovely brownies. Where is my thing? Right, it's over here. So we're gonna plonk these in here. And then we're just gonna leave it to it. And then we're gonna work on our other order. So that would be really awesome. So this is six brownies right now. We do need a few more. So we're going to go and grab those in a second. That would be great. I'm just gonna put this tray on the top because I just think that would be easier. So we need two more. So that will make the eight that we need. If I can just get this thing. Oh my gosh, this thing is awful. I really don't like this thing. It's a nice idea but it's just too clunky to use. I really don't like that. <laughs> I hope that there's a normal pot and I don't have to use that one because it's awful. Okay, 180, that's perfect. It needs to be cooked for 60 seconds. Dang, that's quite a long time. I'm glad I did this first, actually. 60 seconds, go. Right, now we're gonna work on the other order. So that's gonna be good. Let's use a normal pot. I really don't like that pot. <laughs> so we're, just, we're just gonna go for this one. We need some corn flour. So let's grab some of those. All right, that's 700. We just need 50. Water, we need 450. So that should be easy enough to do. Olive oil, perfect. And a little bit of yeast, not too much, but just a little bit would be great all right there we go some salt let's get some of that as well that would be great some sugar and hey presto oh wait did i do a bit too much salt did a bit too much salt oh no i can't take it out either oh what a pain oh wait i can okay i did oh God, I was going to say that would have been painful otherwise. But yeah, we've basically done everything. All right, how much How, how much time? 20 seconds to mix. So we're going to mix that up there. Let's check on our... Oh, just in time. Look at that. <laughs> just in time. Perfect. Do you think that looks right? I hope this is right. I think it is. 
All right, my brownies are done. They just don't look as dark as the picture, but I just I just hope that we did them correctly. <laughs> Hopefully they're fine. <laughs> Hopefully they're all good. Some nice brownies here. But if you, I think it's just the lighting like above. So if you look down, you can see that they are a bit like darker. I think it's just the light lighting doing that. But yeah, they, they look great. I'm looking forward to, to getting the moolahs from sending these off as well. We got these ones over here as well. So let's put those over there. Very, very nice indeed. Alrighty. Okay, now to go and get our buns. We're going to make these square buns. And I don't think I ever made these properly because I was doing these wrong. But I figured out how to actually do these square buns now. Um, all the uh, lava buns and stuff like that. I didn't realize you had to use the presser for them. But now I know. So yeah, I'm doing them properly this time. Where is the presser in here? Oh, it's over here. So we need to... Uh, um put the put it on there for a second and then is there a place for me to put the okay i'll put it there all right so we want to set this to square of course don't know how many exactly this is gonna do it's saying it's saying 10 so this is the first 10 we still got some mix left though so we should be able to let's do a bit more We're just gonna put it on this one down here and oh there's still one more on there is there not enough room on there i guess there's not enough room i'll put it on that one instead okay let's get some more mix um it's a bit awkward with putting the mix on sometimes it just like doesn't you have to do it in like a certain way i don't know why it's like that it's a pain in the butt and the, there is the other five so let's press those and i'm just gonna put the first tray in so let's go and put those in we still got five minutes to go but it's fine it's plenty of time to be honest and we need this on 200 degrees and this is on 20 seconds so, so there you go oh wait actually I, I should put the other ones in what am i doing <laughs> I haven't put them all in yet, silly me. I should put them all in at the same time, of course. All right, let's see about getting the rest of these buns. It's going to be a bit awkward because they're right at the back. Did I get them all? I think I got them all. Perfect. Okay, let's put these ones in as well. And I'm just going to increase this just a little bit. 21 seconds. That should be fine. It doesn't matter if it's like a few seconds over. So it should be, it should be good. And that will be all our square buns and all our brownies all done and they should be perfect <laughs> they should be fantastic so that's going to be really awesome actually all right are we ready for the timer but alarm <laughs> here it is and here's our lovely square buns they do look like a little bit burnt but i'm pretty sure they're supposed to look like that <laughs> i think they are they do look different from the picture though don't they just a little bit but i'm pretty sure i've done them correctly i'm pretty sure anyway if we actually look at them it doesn't say if there's an exclamation mark that's when you've done them wrong so i'm pretty sure this is what they're meant to look like so we're good all right there we go and that's all done i just need to find a place for this i'll just put it back in there for now so that'll be good all right let's send these off so i'm just gonna put these here and i'm just gonna call for a thing because i'm just absolutely loving not having to do it myself it's so good <laughs> so i'm just gonna send those off you do lose a bit of money but like i feel like it saves time in the long run and i just really like that oh my god croissants and baguettes are next oh my gosh <laughs> just need like one more level and we basically can like make baguettes so, so i'm excited for that actually well what was that i don't know wow i got so much money let's go and like upgrade some stuff because like i'm pretty sure we're in the last workshop i don't think we're going anywhere else at this point we're gonna purchase this we're gonna go on a spending spree see what we can buy actually i'd really like to increase the capacity of this so let's do that purchase that it's level 24 to get more but everything just got huge <laughs> all the things just got massive so that was cool we could buy this one this automatically sets the amount of product based on active recipe that is going to be so handy i'm not even going to have to worry about like putting the recipe number in there it's going to be great and we can do it for liquids as well so that's cool do i even have anything left to upgrade i got this um unlock setting the timer based on active checklist so it do all the timer for me as well crazy i'm basically not even gonna have to do anything <laughs> it's gonna do everything for me my god with all these upgrades yeah i think that might be the last upgrade um other than that there's just like customization for the actual like place itself like the flooring and like stuff like that we actually do have the minimalistic flooring on here as well it's like carried over um with us so that was pretty 
cool, I suppose. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons and members for supporting the channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. Alternatively, you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. I also have a dedicated live streaming channel that you can find in the description box below or on my channel homepage. I regularly live stream over on that channel and it would be super cool if you could stop by sometime and say hello. I would really love that. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.